Well, thank goodness the camera is still working pretty decent. Um, I don't want to get too far behind here, um, so I thought I'd go ahead and and make this video and talk about. Um, well, I've received um, a couple of packages recently um, from um, folks musically, and thank you. Certified PR Records was one, and then most recently Ron Anderson. I want to talk about the Ron Anderson in this video. That music um, speaks to me um, really loudly, and um, Ron, it turns out, is turning out to be a new, a new real friend. Ron Anderson, my lung puppy. Ron has a, actually a rather extensive, extensive background of making music and collaborating and performing quite a bit around the world. I first became aware of Ron Anderson's work through a recording that I um, somehow discovered online. Ron playing with Ron Ruin with Ruins from Japan. I was familiar with Ruins, and um, I downloaded the record. I'll be honest; I couldn't really find it readily, so I searched for the music online, found it, and downloaded it. And what I'd like to say about you, Ron, because I know you watch, and what I'd like to tell people about Ron is that Ron is a true music maker, musician, maverick, and um, spark. Tell me if I got that right about you, Ron, but I get the strong impression that you are a person who sparks things to happen. You like to make music, you like to be creative, you like to do things, not just music. It, it appears to me that you know, you're into fitness and stuff, and when you get going, you just do it and then you make things happen around you, which is a wonderful quality to have, and we need those sparks. We need those sparks. So Ron sent me a nice package of music. In it, among other things, was this poster from his recent residency at John Zorn's The Stone in New York. I've been to The Stone in New York. Uh, last time I was there on tour, and uh, I didn't play, but I went to a show I forget who I saw. I did buy a CD by the performer. It was impressive. It's here somewhere. I can't remember who it was. <coughs> but um, my lung puppy, Ron, shares a lot of what he does online, so there's lots of evidence of the work that Ron does. You can check it out for himself. So he sent me one vinyl and some CDs, and I like them all. The one... I'll, I'll start with the vinyl, because this one I need to come back to, but... Thank you, Ron, for sending me a, 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 a signed vinyl copy of your very first so solo album, Fever Dream. This is thick, and the, 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 the first impression I got from my first two listens was how creative and how it keeps moving. There's music, and then the next thing you know, you're listening to, it sounds like turntablism, um, stuff with um, recordings, um, Sounds um, wonderful, wonderfully interesting. I, I'm going to get into this. The, the one that I played the most because it just hits me like a ton of bricks, and I love it. Is Ron this CD that was produced or, or released by John Zorn's Zadok label, Secret Curve? I love this man. This just has so many elements of what I love about music. It's dense, it's constantly in motion, there's all kinds of events going on throughout the recording. Um, the evidence of your writing skill is from the very word go. The music has um, touch points of the music for those that need them, or that I hear is um, Ornette Coleman, Fred Frith, even a little bit of Zappa. But um, uniquely, uh, your music um, run, and this is wonderful because um, you know it goes from the, the frenetic, frantic composition with the great drumming and the interplay into parts where it's you're just playing with sound, not just, but you're playing with sound, and lots is going on, and it makes me kind of visually try to imagine. How you put it together. 
This is real good. Matter of fact, I highly recommend this. Secret Curve by Ron Anderson. Guitarist, bassist, composer, bicyclist, great guy. The other thing that you sent me uh, that I have only just touched base on, but I want to just comment on how cool the package is, is the recording that you released by Oblique Quartet, the folks you just were in Mexico with, is that right? And this is a beautiful box. I love this kind of packaging. It's simple, but it's elegant. Part of the, it looks like it's part of the Raw Red series. Man, that's nice. And this is loud and brash. At least ways that's how it starts. I have to, um, honestly, I have to really give this a listen. I have not really listened to this yet. But I love this um, packaging. It's numbered. I have number 71 out of 150. What a nice... Um, what a nice presentation, you know. Um, one thing I was saying to um, Ron in, online was how cool it is to have something released on the Zorin Zadig label. But in general, to me, I just it's such an honor, besides making the music and making it well, but I, it's, it's such an honor when people um, are willing to release your stuff and then they do it with style. They do it with love and with care, like these. So awesome, Ron. Thank you so much for sharing this way. I've sent him a package of my music. So, um, all spare. There's the, um, I'll end this short video by saying that I'll remind folks, um, I am having a contest. You don't necessarily have to be a subscriber. Um, there has been, um, the response has been, uh, my minor, not very many folks. Um, maybe folks aren't interested or maybe because they don't watch a lot of videos people feel disconnected but um, I have the, the con contest goes to November 30th you're all welcome to participate and make a video and share with us a piece of music that you think you wish everyone could hear Ron shared this um, a piece off of Desperate Straits by Slap Happy Henry Cow and I played it and, I, and what a great tune to a uh, suggest um where's the title R rail riding tigers riding tigers neat song and then all the other suggestions so far i love them all i have all the artists that have been shown i don't have all the records that people have suggested but um there have been some great suggestions so join us what is the music that you just you would like for the world to love it or something like that share your thoughts thank you thanks ron again for the great music and i will be listening more and more